morning guys I hope you're all doing well I want to talk about a couple things one is the awning we're gonna mess with the awning today because I made some repairs and also let me give a quick tire update I think what I'm gonna end up doing is finding three used tires to get me going I definitely want them on the front and I definitely want the back one here three will get me on the road and feeling confident and then I'll just get brand new tires two at a time every month is probably what I'll do but as you can see this RV does have an awning and I was really excited about looking at this awning unfortunately uh, it had a big dent nasty spot over here which I've already replaced as you can see this A&E arm right here is now straight we went to a junkyard and picked up just the arm which had the same brackets and then had to attach it up there the other one was completely bent it was twisted and it was digging into the glass back here in the bedroom so we got lucky and found this and my buddy Andrew helped me put it on um, it rained a little last night and I'm just going to try to deploy it and try to show you guys how I open an awning by myself because a lot of people like to say that you need two people to open these awnings well I've only ever done it myself so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do I'm gonna say this it's probably not the right way to do it but I'm gonna explain how I do it and how it works and then a bunch of people are gonna say you did it wrong and I don't really care so yeah let's take a look at it here all right so the first thing I need to do is unlock it there's this little lock up here All you do, you just pull it and it kind of frees it up. Operated. We have this little pole looking thing here. locked in place like that then uh, next thing we're going to do is unscrew these knobs on both sides which are already unscrewed because I had it up like that then you want to uh, extend this pole out to get it up Once it's about even like that, some people say these arms have to go all the way up here. I'm going to show you why I do it like this though. The reason why I don't put them all the way up is if you put them here and then you lock them, see the slack that happens in the awning? You still have the option to kind of beat this down because it's already locked here. It's going to stay strong. And then you're tightening this. You've gotten rid of the slack. Same thing over here. See the slack? makes it so it won't it's flap in the wind. Her. And there you go. A couple things to note. Uh, up on top, you've got the wheel. That is so that when the door opens, the metal is not going to scratch the awning. It makes it safe to open and close the door. 
Also, maybe one day here I'll uh, put up some LED lights under here so we can light up the awning. But yeah, that's how it works. We good? But yeah, I'm totally tickled to death that I can operate the awning all by myself. One person, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of a chore, but it's nice to have. Um, having the awning, I guess I kind of have to say it just as a kind of disclaimer, but you might want to put a note up by your steering column. Um, if you have a tendency to forget things, as many of you remember, a couple months ago I filmed somebody driving and crashing live with their awning deployed. I don't understand how that's physically possible. I mean, I just don't understand it. They obviously don't do exterior checks. So I walk around the exterior and check all of my compartments and everything. You, you know, you, it's, it's the little stuff, right? So you got to check everything. Uh, but like I said, if you already have some safety stuff written up there that says antenna, your steps, your arm brace here, you might as well add awning to it, I guess, just so you sit down and physically think about it, you know? Um, it's not going to be an issue for me. I don't know when I'm ever going to use the awning unless I get to a nice park and I want some shade. It'll be nice to be able to be parked under the sun and get solar and also deploy the awning so that I can sit out here in my chair and read a book and have a nice view of the ocean or something like that. So I am really excited about that for sure. <laughs> Meow. Hi, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'm going to cook some, some health food, as in chicken nuggets and tater tots, because you all know I like that. <coughs> See you guys in a couple days. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>